select one legato play that to the end like this I'm going to show you how to use Omnisphere to create some lush and amazing soundscapes today. So let's dive in. So I spent some time messing around with a couple loops and came up with a drum groove that sounds like this. A nice and organic drum groove really within my style of organic house. And now I'd like to add some kind of a pad to the intro. So the first thing I'm going to do is load up a MIDI track. And on this MIDI track, I will load up Omnisphere. And I really do love Omnisphere for these pad soundscape type sounds because Omnisphere is based on samples as well. And these samples really do sound amazing. I'll show you in a second. Oscillator A, we're going to work with this guy first. Click on Sample folder and if you have a MIDI keyboard then that's really practical because then you can play your sounds live with different keys so I'm going to make sure to dial down the volume and record arm so we can play and we're going to search up textures all and simply go through a couple samples that we like starting from the first one here I mean straight out of the box these sounds are really amazing I love them so much and you get a ton of these like the list goes on until like forever and the cool thing is that you don't only have these textures you also have synthesizers and psychoacoustic stuff so it's really really cool but i'm gonna stick with textures for now and honestly i kind of like this first one even though it sounds kind of dark maybe we can combine it with another sound so i'm gonna close this guy off and make sure to give it a bit of an attack so it doesn't start straight away but it fades in you see that's what we want for pads. And we're gonna crank up that release. So whenever we let go of the note, we still have a bit of a fade out in the sound. You see? And now we wanna do practically the same thing with oscillator B. So we are going to select oscillator B here, hit sample, make sure that the oscillator is turned on. So we click this B over here, or you can also click this little guy over here. So it turns on the oscillator and folder, textures, all and now we're just going to look through a couple of different textures that fit to the existing texture that we already have playing so you can literally mix together in these different texture sounds well this one's also cool i'm going to stick with this one for now and here you get to mix in the oscillators so you get to determine which sound should be louder the sound from oscillator a or the one from oscillator b so this one's kind of a higher tone. I like mixing them in together. For oscillator B, we're going to do the same thing. Give it a slight attack and release and turn on the cutoff. So we're going to do some modulation on this sound because for pads, it's really great to have some filter movement and Omnisphere allows you to automate the filters here using modulation. So we're going to turn on filter. How about we go for a high pass filter so the high pass filters they only allow in the high frequencies and the low pass filters they only allow in the low frequencies so if we were to illustrate that with the q over here this would be a high pass filter right here but this here would be a low pass filter so we let the low frequencies pass that's a nice way to memorize what filters do what yeah let's stick with high pass filter juicy 12 db these 12 db 24 db that's basically the slope so a 12 db slope would look something like this and a 24 db slope would look something like this so it determines how harsh the high pass is or the low pass in this case but let's stick with the 12 db slope because those are really soft so right now if we touch this cutoff knob we can hear the sound being high passed yeah and we want this movement to occur slowly right so we're going to right click this guy modulate with lfo yes omnisphere has built in lfos which is pretty cool and in this panel we can first of all determine how much lfo movement we get so if we dial it down here we get less movement as you can see here or more movement you see if we hit play cool can also smoothen the movement out a bit so it's a bit less harsh and determine the target frequency as well and down here you can also determine the rate so how quick the LFO moves you can also see that here which I love about Omnisphere you can see whatever you're doing live that's too much 
can also change it to unipolar so it just goes into one direction but I'm going to keep it on bipolar for now and if you'd like you can also sync it to your host tempo which in my case is 114 bpm so give it a delay yeah so these small little things they really add up nice so for oscillator b we can practically do the same thing you can turn on the filter here and for this guy we can give it a low pass automation so what we're practically doing is low passing it like this remember for oscillator b we're high passing for oscillator a we're low passing so we get opposite movements right click modulate with lfo let's see how this sounds Okay, obviously way too intense. So what we're going to do is dial the source down a bit. Change the target frequency. See that here. Smooth it out. Nice. That's really dark sounding. <laughs> so let's go back into sample. And at this point, since we already have a bit of modulation going on, we can select a different sound. <laughs> What the heck, dude? <laughs> oh, yeah. I like this one. I also like how each of the sounds comes with a picture. So it gives you a mood to think to. Daybreak sounds kind of cool. For oscillator B, again, we can also select a different sound. Let me just scroll through. that's it that's it right there all right so once we found a sound that we like we can play that together with our drum groove mix it in here and find the right key which one do you vibe with the most I love these sounds, man. <laughs> They're so good. So I'm just going to pick a key. It's kind of hard to pick one for me because they all sound so good. Select one, legato, play that to the end like this. All right, so I don't want it to reset after four bars. So what I'm going to do is highlight the entire clip, hit command J. So it consolidates that, creates that into one clip, can then delete these, highlight this one, hit legato so it plays to the end. And what works in some cases is that you can pitch the root note up an additional perfect fifth. So what you can do is then hit option one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that should usually harmonize with the root note. There's a ton of meditation channels on YouTube, like Eternal Depth. State Azure is a really great one as well. And they basically create these sounds by adding harmonics or adding harmonies to the root note. So we can also pitch this guy up, maybe an additional two, a three. That would be obviously way too much, but we're gonna keep it simple for now. Just stick with the root note. Yeah. So I love the way this is sounding right now, but I would like the pad to move along more with the drum groove. And a really cool way to do that is by loading up an envelope follower on your drums channel. So I have all the drums beside the kick in a top loops channel here, right here. And you can see some sidechain action going on. So whenever the kick hits, they're being reduced in volume, but that's not important for now. What's important is that we load up this envelope follower, which is a Max for Live device. So what we've done is we've loaded up this envelope follower on our percussion channel. So it follows the envelope of the tops or the percussions. And we're going to map this to the utility on the Omnisphere channel. So I'm going to click the gain here. You can see there's not anything going on yet because we don't have any sound playing. But once we hit play, you can see it starts following the envelope of the percussions here. Just increase the gain a bit so we get more movement and then play that with the rest. So it follows the envelope quite well from the drum loops, but we still can't hear the pad because we have to set this guy higher. Now 
size. So you can see some peaks in the pad sound now. It's like dum, 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 dum. But those peaks can sound sometimes very harsh. So what I'm going to do is load up an echo on my pads layer. So load this guy on the pads. I prefer using the dotted eighth note because that's just my favorite delay setting. We don't need any reverb because the sound in itself already has a lot of reverb. Just want to dial down that dry wet a bit. And after the echo, we're going to load up an EQ to cut out any low end frequencies that might be stacking up due to the delay. So about at 80 to 90 Hertz. Notice how the pad sounds a bit smoother now, thanks to the echo. And just mess around with the envelope here. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed and you could learn something new. If you did, feel free to hit that like and subscribe button. It always helps the channel grow. All these sounds, you can find them on Lotus Tunes and this specific project file I'm gonna make available on my Patreon page. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.